active or still, through hot or cold weather, our bodies try to keep a constant temperature. A thermographic image shows where Patrick's skin is losing heat. The red areas are hot, blue and green cooler. His hands are still cool. Patrick's hard-working muscles are generating heat, which threatens to raise his body temperature. In his skin, blood vessels dilate, increasing the blood flow to the surface. The skin must now shed this excess heat. First to respond are his chest, shoulders, and head. The increased blood flow shows up as light patches where his skin temperature has risen highest. Even his hands are now hot. Sweat, air currents, and radiation all carry unwanted heat away from Patrick's skin. Patrick now bravely plunges into a wind tunnel where the temperature is below freezing. The heat loss mechanisms in his skin begin to shut down. The light patches marking his hot spots begin to disappear. Blood vessels in his skin contract and sweat glands dry up. He loses heat quickest from his fingers. Heat sensors in the skin are the key to temperature control, switching the whole complex mechanism on and off like a thermostat. When these sensors feel cold, tiny muscles pull the hairs upright, trapping a warming layer of air next to the skin. Skin sensors detect light touches as well. When a fly lands on Kadamba's face, the sensors alert her brain. She blinks, the fastest reflex. Touch, pain, heat, all these sensors work together in forming the brain. Feel something, and a message goes to the brain in less than one hundredth of a second. The touch mechanism allows David to read through his fingers. Our touch sensors are closest together on the fingertips. They can distinguish stimuli only one-tenth of an inch apart. So David can feel the distinctive pattern of these raised dots, identifying each as a character in Braille. Braille is just one of the many ways we can use our sensitive skins to communicate with the surrounding world. A touch of the hand can speak volumes. The elastic skin of the face can convey many more messages. Dozens of muscles give this child's face its shape. They pull on her rubbery skin to contort her face into grins and grimaces. The language of faces is international. All these expressions rely on a special arrangement of muscle and skin. Compare a normal expression with a smile in a color contour picture. To smile, 
the blue shows the chin and lips have drawn back, while the cheeks have been moved forward. Our face and skin are not alone in making statements to the world. 